My name is Dr. Jonathan McClatchy, and I am the chair of the program of human biology. So many students, when they enter the human biology program, they think that really the only um, avenue that they can go is, is the pre-med program. And that's a great uh, program to, to pursue if you're interested in medicine and being a, being a physician, uh, doing a, an MD um, later um, after you've completed your, your pre-med track, that's, that's a great option. But there are also other options that one can take. Uh, one can go into uh, scientific research. One can go into scientific journalism. Freshman year, all students take the Principles of Biology course uh, where I give a general introduction to the field of, of biology and the different molecular processes. And we cover the, the workings of the cell and the different organelles that exist within the cell and the information processing in the cell and so forth. So that's the first semester of freshman year. And then in the second semester of freshman year, the bio majors take a class at Harvard, which is a lab class. Um, so they actually go to the Harvard Extension School and study there. So we don't have a lab here at Sattler College. So for lab classes, students who are bio majors will go over to the Harvard Extension School and they will take classes along with the, the Harvard students over there. In the second year, biology majors will take genetics and genomics, where they learn about the principles of Mendelian inheritance and how genes are passed on from one generation to the next and how to calculate the, the ratio of transmission of, of traits. And we also talk about population genetics, so what's the mathematical basis of the change in gene frequencies in a population over time. In the second semester of the sophomore year, bio majors also take um, microbiology, and where we learn about microorganisms, so bacteria, viruses, and clinical relevance of, uh, these, of these organisms, fungi also. At Sattler College, we really encourage students to pursue internships in the summer where they can go and work with an institution to perform uh, hands-on research. Uh, we even have students that have conducted research over the summer that's been so successful that they've been able to get their names on scientific papers, which is really impressive for uh, undergraduate students. So that's, that's something that we really uh, encourage. It really looks great on your resume or your CV. I became fascinated during my undergraduate program at the University of Strathclyde in Scotland by the wonders of molecular biology and the engineering prowess and, and complexity and elegance of the nanotechnology that, that governs the show in, in life. So I did my bachelor's degree at the University of Strathclyde in Scotland in uh, forensic biology and then I went to pursue a, a master's degree at the University of Glasgow in evolutionary biology and systematics. And then I, I actually worked for a year at the Discovery Institute in Seattle, Washington, uh, doing some popular science writing. Uh, and then I did a second master's degree at the University of Newcastle in England in medical and molecular bioscience. And then I went on to pursue my PhD at Newcastle University in, in uh, molecular biology. I was really attracted by the Christian precepts of, of Sattler College and the fact that they emphasize biblical languages, that they require students to take Greek and Hebrew, that they teach apologetics, that they have a robust discipleship program um, and so forth, which um, I think is really unique uh, among colleges, even Christian colleges. So that was chief among those things which attracted me to Sattler College. If uh, students are interested in how the human body works or in getting to, to understand things about life and about living organisms. If you've always wanted to understand how viruses or bacteria infect a human, or if you want to understand the basis of how drugs work, or how antibiotics work, or how bacteria acquire resistance to antibiotics, or how traits are passed on from one generation to the next, and what determines what traits the next generation will have, and how do we work out what the ratio or the probabilities of of uh, offspring having particular traits or um, any of these, these sorts of things, I would uh, highly recommend uh, the biology program.